there were a lot of things. I wasn't familiar with her story until I read the script, and um, which is kind of sad, I think, because um, she was su such a, I feel like a feminist icon in a way that um, isn't celebrated enough. So hopefully she'll, you know, be celebrated more. Um, I was kind, I was surprised at how, which I found fascinating, because people, when you hear Frankenstein. Normally people, you know, they get, Frankenstein isn't the monster, like, you know, it's all, they don't under, they don't, it seems like, oh, well, maybe they don't really understand the book. I hope that people actually go read the book after they see the movie, because, yes, it's this, okay, it's dark, this gothic novel, but it's very, it's, it's something else. It's this woman's life, actually, um, and her soul in this, in this book that she's kind of poured out after losing, you know, uh, a child and and how she sees that you know Percy Shelley is actually Victor Frankenstein the creator of this monster and she kind of sees herself as the monster being torn apart and in pieces and so um, and, and I don't think that a lot of people recognize that as much because they, they kind of think of the the green like you know <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's, it's it's not that a lot of people think the book is pure fiction, but it is all what she went through as a young woman, and all boiled into bringing in that kind of, um, that amazing legacy that she left to the world. And it is very sad that we don't know her. We don't know anything about her life, but her, her, her creation is in cartoons and movies and films, and it is very much hijacked by men. <laughs> and it is not, and, and the creator is a woman, and it is a woman's struggle. It's a woman's life, loss of her child, and struggle with her husband, struggle with her parents. And it's really nice to see, for, to celebrate that. And, and, um, like, get it back. That's ours. <laughs> we created the Frankenstein. Yeah. <laughs>